Thank you for joining this quick how-to video brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. This video is part two of a series on how to create a data extension filter activity so that it can be refreshed automatically using Automation Studio. After learning how to create a data filter definition in part one, the next step will be to create a filter activity. In the Marketing Cloud, navigate to Journey Builder, click on Automation Studio. Once in Automation Studio, click on Activities, then click on Create Activity, then select Filter and click on Next. Enter a name and if needed an external key in the description. Click the Data Filter folder under the Filter Definition section and choose the Data Filter. Click Next. Enter a name and if needed an external key in description for the resulting filter data accession. Once completed, click Next, then click Finish. Navigate back to the Overview tab. Click New Automation. Select Schedule or File Drop for the type of automation based on your preference and drag it into the Starting Source column on the right. Enter a name into the Untitled Automation field, then click Done. Drag the Filter option from the Activity section where the text drop activity on the canvas is displayed. Click Choose, select the filter, and then click on Done. After completing these steps, input any additional steps into the automation. Configure the schedule as necessary. Click Save. And then to activate your automation, click on Activate under the schedule. This video concludes our series on how to create a data extension filter activity so that it can be refreshed using Automation Studio. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal where you can find great resources including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact support. Happy trailblazing!